everybody Ann here just sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you hopefully it's gonna be a nice sunny day today semi sunny a few clouds uh, it's supposed to be like 50 degrees so I'll do something I'll do something today uh, I got a really really good night's sleep last night and I wanted to show you something very very cool that somebody just sent me <laughs> Check this out. Grub Terra. They are black soldier flies, and uh, the company Grub Terra makes these, creates them. They sent me this one pound, big old bag of soldier fly grubs and wanted to know how my chickens like them. So I'm going to go out and let the chickens out and let them eat a little bit. Now, they're not paying me to do this, uh, they just sent me a free bag. So, uh, we're going to see how those chickens like this. I have a feeling that they're going to like them a lot. And I had thought about this, the soldier fly grub thing, because that fly trap out there, uh, soldier flies got in there and started, you know, depositing their little larvae and they tried to crawl up and I thought, oh, I bet you my chickens would love to eat those, but keeping them and raising them, I don't know. I think that might be a little bit <laughs> up here above my head. So I'm gonna, well, let me just open these up. I'm gonna see what they look like. Well, let's see. They come in a nice, strong Ziploc bag. Oh, and they are filled to the brim. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Look at all those grubs. Oh, I have a feeling. Never in my life would I think that I would be picking up grubs, basically maggots. They're dehydrated. So I'm going to go out right now, let my chickens out, feed them, see how they like them. And ew, they smell like grubs. Um, and then I might even go over to Mr. Lucas and see how his chickens like them. But first I got to make some breakfast. I have, well, I've got plenty of eggs, but I think I want to try something a little bit different with them today. It may not look appetizing to you, but what it is, is two of my farm fresh eggs on top of two thin slices of my B&M brown bread. And I figured, hmm, oh, look at that yolk. This has got to be delicious. I think it's going to be delicious. Let me just try a little taste here. Get some of the yolk on it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's going to be good. Mm-hmm. Mm that is delicious. I did fry the little slices of bread in the pan first to get them all nice and crunchy and crispy. And yeah, that was definitely good. Just another way that I can use the B&M brown bread. And I've got plenty of it, so I'll be using quite a bit of it. It's so delicious. And I just used the plain kind. I didn't use the kind with the raisins because I've got some of that too. So I don't know. I'm going to have to think about something with the, with the raisin B&M brown bread. I don't know. Can you make bread pudding with it, do you think? I think it would be too firm, don't you? Hmm. Let me know. Let's go feed some chickens. Come on out, girls and boy. All righty. I'll give you your worms in just a minute. Just give me a second. I got to do my thing and check for eggs. Yep. Smells a lot better in here after I added the new bedding and whatnot. Um, they've been making some nests and whatnot, so... Oh my gosh! Oh. oh, is that a brown egg? Oh. That's a brown egg. Look, look, guys, a little baby brown egg. I got a brown egg. I gotta, I gotta check in there and see if there's any more. Oh my goodness, look at this. See up here? This is where they go on top of the file cabinet to roost. They made a nesting box out of this one, too. I got two more eggs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is a good day. This is my egg haul for today. Just these four. Those were for from yesterday. I actually got three yesterday. Look at this, though. Look at my first little tiny brown egg. It is so, it's so little, but it is so beautiful. Oh, gosh. One of the... Either the barred rock or one of the black Asians is starting to lay eggs. This is going to add up pretty quickly. I wonder if Mr. Luke has got any brown eggs yet. All right, it's time to go test out those 
black soldier fly, larva worms. I know, beautiful chickens. There's nothing out there that's any good yet. Just hold on. I'm getting you your nummies. Oh, oh ow! <laughs> they came after me. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. They're eating well together. Oh, they're gobbling it up. I put two big handfuls in there. All right, here, I'm just going to scatter some. Here you go, Ronald. There you go, girls. Oh, look at how quick they ate that up. Oh, my gosh. They're loving it. And this, gosh, I barely even made a dent in it. There is a huge amount of these worms in there. I'm going to put some more down for you. I'm also going to put some over here for you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes, Romeo is telling him where it's at, picking it up and putting it down. Come on, you got to woo the women. They're like, I know where the food is. Look at, they killed it. They totally killed it. Ah, oh, I'm going to scatter some around the yard just because I want to treat them to something really, really special. Okay, ladies, there's plenty. No need to fly over it. Taking one for the team, guys. Ow! Ooh! Okay. I think I'm just gonna throw it down on the ground for them. Oh, they love these worms. They love, 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 love these worms. I think it's time to go over to Mr. Lucas and see what he's up to. Take some of those soldier fly larvae, grubs, whatever you call them, and uh, feed them to his chickens, see how they like them. Yeah. Let's see how your chickens like them. They're going to go crazy. That'll bring them all out. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. There. Told you. Ooh, they're loving it. Huh? Oh! <laughs> is, he, is he doing, is Romeo, I mean, Mr. Cockadoo doing his tidbitting thingy? Where he's picking it up and putting it down. I think that one, that black one, is getting ready to lay an egg. She keeps going back in there. He chased me a while ago. Yep. Look at that. They love it. All right, Mr. Lucas, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some of those so you can feed them to your chickens too. I've got so much. And you got more of these. Oh yeah, yeah. I got plenty. Um, and the company has a website. Sells them off their website. Grub Terra. I'm going to see if I can get a discount code for people. Very reasonable. I mean, if you compare that to the stuff you get from Tractor Supply for how much you get, it's much more cost effective than the, um, what do you call them, those little mealworms we've been feeding them? <laughs> you know, one of them back. <laughs> they are. They love it. See if you can put some in your hand and just reach it through the fence and see if they'll eat it. Oh, you know they will. <laughs> here. Here, baby. Come here. Take care. Yeah. Oh, yes. They pick hard, don't they? Look at that. They love them. All yeah. right. Yeah. And those are soldier fly larva worms. They dehydrated them. Very good source of protein. Well, they were getting their share of them. Yep. This one here is. She likes it, but at least it gets in her way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at him. 
Look how big that rooster is compared to those big, big hens. Yeah, I think they like them. And I just wanted to show you a project that we did over at Mr. Lucas today. We got this door properly installed. We do have a little thing down there at the bottom to hold it. And my thinking for that is at nighttime, I'm afraid something can get in there. We might put a hook there eventually. But I got this for Mr. Lucas and we figured it out. We knew it had to go on here and something had to go on here, but there was too much of a gap. So we added this and then the hinges, three of the hinges that Miss Donna B sent, we have used them on this door and they work perfect and I would open it right now and show you but all the chickens are in there oh we also added some pine needles and made two nesting boxes but you open the door and it closes by itself now I'd like to say that that was you know by design but it just kind of happened you know <laughs> it just kind of happened so it looks great it worked out great what do you think mr. Lucas did I do a good job Yes. Number one. Number one. Ha 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 ha. And this is what happens when you go over to help Mr. Lucas and you keep both the puppies inside. And they get mad at you. They spread all of your eggshells all over the place. Lovely. Look at this dog. He's right next to these chickens. And he could not care less. He is just so chill around them. Look at even Romeo's there. Judy would be trying to eat them all. Not Papa. He's just watching. He's just watching them. You're a good boy. But you know what? Judy is a good girl too. I just wish I could get her to quit running away. Oh, she lost a leg on her bed. <laughs> I love her. Look at that. She's a great dog. I was really happy I was able to help Mr. Lucas again because he's done so much for me and it was a lot of fun doing it. And we just kind of brainstormed and figured things out. So that's awesome. Anyway, um, the black fly larva worms, the dehydrated ones that I got, are from grubterra.com. G-R-U-B-T-E-R-R-A.com. I'll leave a link below. On your first order, you get 10% off, which is awesome. And they also sell live black soldier fly larvae, I guess, I don't know, so you can raise your own. So go check them out. Um, the chickens absolutely love them. Oh, there's noise over there. There's some good stuff going on on Mr. T's property. I'll tell you about that in another video. Anyhow, um, so yeah, and I looked at the value per ounce and $12.95 for a pound of these worms that are packed with protein. You know, you compare that to some of the other stuff you get from Tractor Supply Company, and you're gonna pay a lot more for like their mealworms and stuff. I mean, it's, the pricing is just outrageous. So go check them out. And um, I don't know if you'll get a, well, you've got the 10% discount on your first order, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, I really just, appreciate them sending me these worms because I will definitely order more in the future. It just serves me well. I mean, basically I put in my order, they gave me a discount code to for hundred percent off and it arrived the next day. So that was pretty, pretty darn cool. Anyhow, I'm just going to be repeating myself. So I'll put the links below. Um, I will be ordering more in the future and I hope you guys check them out and see what they're doing. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one